Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over the most asked questions, whether that's on YouTube, Instagram, or email. Number one being, what skates am I using? Number two, what skates should you buy? And number three, how did I get so sexy? We're going to be getting into it today. Let's go. Before I actually get into the video, do me a favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, I've been giving y'all a lot of value, helping you upgrade, you know what I'm saying, as a skater, whether that's teaching you how to do certain moves, building your confidence, you know, just, just a leveling up. So if this is a place for you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, I do a group skate class every Saturday here in Tampa Bay. So you, if you are in the Tampa area or the Florida area, come out 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's just 15 bucks. I also do one-on-one -on -one private classes. So whether you are in Mexico, China, Brazil, doesn't matter. I do them virtually and in person as well. Just go to diamondskates.com to sign up for the group skate class and to book a one-on-one -on -one private class. All right, y'all, we're gonna get into it today. I got a lot to talk about. I actually already did this video about, I don't know, a month or so ago. It's titled, I'm going to break your roller skating hearts or something like that. But I get asked these questions so much that I had to make a second video on it. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, like, you know, something that y'all really want to know. So I'm going to go over it again. Now, the first question, what skates am I skating on? So, I, the boot, let's start with the boot. The boot is actually my prototype. I started a company called Diamond Skates. Um, I don't sell anything yet. I'm still develop, I'm developing the boot. Um, I'm getting them made in Mexico. I'm having some hiccups in Mexico, so I'm in the process of getting them made in America now. It's going to be a bit more expensive since I'm getting them made here or working on getting them made here. But, you know, I know what I want and... That's what I'm going for. So, yeah, my boot, it's um, it's a high top boot, but it's not like the stiff high top boot that, that you see a lot of skaters on. It's stiff in some areas, like in the, in the heel and in the toe box, it has um, stiff counters. And that's, that's how I like it. So I make this boot pretty much for me. And I like there to be some flex in the ankle because I still like to like drop down and do, you know, different types of uh, jam skating moves and tricks and stuff like that. So I like there to be some flex in the ankle. Um, but yeah, that's the boot, the Diamond Skates G8 model. Now the plate is Sure Grip plate. It's a Sure Grip Avenger plate. It's a double action, 45 degree angle. Y'all probably don't even know what that means. Basically, they, um, the way that the trucks sit, they're at a 45 degree angle. Sometimes they can be a, like a 10, a 10 degree angle. Um, basically, it's just for, it's for like more control. Um, that's the plate I'm on. The wheels that I'm on, which is, I get asked this question a lot. They're also Sure Grip products. So it's a Sure Grip velvet wheel. Most wheels are um, urethane, which is like a rubber. This is called vanithane, so it's like a, it's like a clay material, so it's super slick. Like if you're on a wood floor or something, sometimes I skate in my house, and it's like skating on ice. So, again, I I just wanna, I just wanna put this out there. These wheels, I do not suggest them for beginner skaters. A lot of beginner skaters ask me about what kind of wheels I'm on. I'm telling you right now. You're not going to have a fun time. You're going to have a, probably have a fun time busting your ass, but they are not for um, stability. Now, I have dance plugs in instead of toe stops. Toe stops are the big things that you see sometimes at the edge. The, the toe stops. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but mine are dance plugs, so they're smaller. So I have a lot more space in between my toes and the ground. 
So, yeah. Now, let me let me stop y'all because I'm sure a lot of y'all are probably on Amazon right now looking up the products, trying to order my setup. My setup is not going to help you skate better. All right, let me say that again. My skate setup is not going to help you skate better. Why? One, because it's my preference. Two, because some of the things that I have on my skates are not advantageous. Meaning, there's no reason why I even... So, for example, the wheels that I use, they're indoor wheels. They're not indoor-outdoor wheels. They are made specifically for indoor skating. I don't skate indoors. I skate outdoors. Makes no sense, right? I don't give a damn. That's what I like. So, uh, another thing, too. My plate. The way that I wear my plate. My trucks are so loose, they're, like, dangerously loose. Meaning, like, they can probably fall off. That's how loose I have them. That's not what you want. I'm telling you right now, especially if you're a beginner skater, if you put on my skates, you would probably bust your ass. Like, it's just... I... So... My skates aren't set up for stability, which is, you know, if you're a beginner, kind of intermediate skater, that's what you want. You want a skate for stability that's going to help you balance. My skate is set up more for control. So whenever I move a certain way, you know, there's, there's less friction. And I like the harder wheels so that when I'm doing footwork, it's more sliding rather than grabbing. But if you're a beginner skater, that's what you want. You want that traction on the ground. You want a toe stop. You want your trucks tight, not loose like mine. You want, you know, a softer wheel. You probably don't want a heeled boot. You want a flat boot because it's going to be more balanced, right? So it's going to help you balance more as you skate. A heeled boot is going to put you more on your toes, which, I mean, I do a lot of, you know... A, I'm, I'm on my toes a lot. A lot of my footwork, I'm balancing on my toes. But as a beginner skater, you know, you're probably not going to be doing, you know, technical footwork and things like that. So you should really be focused on what's going to help you be more stable, right? So that's a softer wheel, something 86A softness and low, lower, not, not like a 90 up. Um, you're going to want uh, a higher millimeter. So my wheels are like a 53 millimeter, so they're really small. You're going to want something in like the 60, like 62, like, like, a, like a thick wheel. Because you're going to have more you're gonna have more wheel on the floor, which is going to help you with balance. And your trucks, um, keep, them, keep them a bit tight. This, now, you don't have to do this, right? There's no, there's no right or wrong way to have your skates. I'm just trying to help you out as a beginner skater, if you're a beginner skater, and even intermediate skaters as well. There, there's a bunch of different levels of skaters, so it's kind of hard to put people in categories, but generally, if you're, you fall within that beginner intermediate range, you're going to want your skate set up to be more for, you know, to help you balance. So that's that. I just really want to say that and put that out there, you know, having my skates my skate setup that i have right now is not going to help you skate better all right now let's move on to question number two which is what skates should you buy now if you're a beginner skater this is pretty simple just go to google type in roller skates and i don't know if you have a favorite color or something maybe it's blue pink type in pink roller skates and um what's up what's up bro this guy, I'm, I'm I'm doing something right now. Can I, I'll give you attention after, okay? Go ahead, go lay down. Go. Type in pink roller skates. A bunch of them are gonna pop up. Click the one you like. Now, when you do that, a price should pop up. Now, look at that price. How does that price make you feel? Does it make you feel good, or does it make you feel broke? You're going to want to go with a price that makes you feel good because. Let me keep it a thousand with y'all. As a beginner skater, you're probably gonna skate, I don't know, two, three, maybe six months, and you're gonna be done. 
you know it's just it's it's more it's more so of a hobby so you don't want to break the bank on something that's just going to sit in your closet you know what i mean so get something within your price range that's all i would suggest for as a beginner skater you don't need you don't need nothing crazy you can still do these same movements on any pair of skates let me say that again you can do everything that i teach on my channel you can do on any pair of skates all right make no mistake i can do the crazy legs on inlines i can do the snake walk or the grapevine in ice skates because i understand the move if you can't do the moves in the skates that you're in right now it's because you don't understand the moves well enough that's another thing that i want to that i want to preach about but okay getting back on topic as a beginner skater just find something within your price range that's that's pretty much it because probably not going to be skating in the next couple months it is what it is now as an intermediate skater you know you've been skating for two years three years you know what i mean this is the experimental stage so you get to take bits and pieces and experiment on what you like let's say if you started off on like a soft wheel you know what i mean an outdoor wheel something that's grippy try a harder wheel something that's like 96 101 a hardness try that out see how you like that you might not like it go back to your stick on on your soft wheels try a heeled boot try a flat you know a flat boot um try a, a low ankle boot um just just really experiment to figure out what you like because at the end of the day there's no right setup it's always going to be skater's preference like i have my preference on how i like to skate that's not for everybody just like you you are going to have certain things that you that you come come to find out like oh I really love having this big ass toe stop that I can jump on and stop. I like that. You know what I mean? I don't. Some people do. So at the end of the day, it's skater's preference. And if you are an intermediate skater, you've been skating for a couple years. Now it's time for you to figure out, you know, what you like and what you don't like. Um, yeah, that is pretty much all I have. I don't have like a one size fits all. I know a lot of y'all want to hear that because it's easy. I can just tell you what to get and boom, you're done. You don't have to think about it. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to y'all and tell you that you need a certain type of skate. Y'all want me to lie, but I'm not going to, uh, make no mistake about it though. When I come out with my skates, what, Ooh, I'm going to be lying my ass off. Oh, you're a beginner skater. Really? Oh, you just start skating. You got to you gotta get the diamond skates. Yes, of course they're going to help you skate. Yes, you got to get the diamond skates. Oh, so you're working on um, sit, sit spins? You can't get them? You want to know why? Because you need the diamond skates. The way that the boot sits and the, the curvature where the plate connects, that's the reason why you can't do the sit spins. Yeah, you need the diamond skates. Ask yourself this. Have you ever seen me fall? Like, legit fall. You might have seen me slip. But have you ever seen me bust my ass? No. Diamond skates. Got to get them. So, when I come on my skates, I am going to be lying my ass off. But I ain't got nothing to sell right now. So, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. And the truth is, you can do all this stuff in any pair of skates. All right? That's the truth. Even me saying all this, I'm sure I'm going to get some folks out there that are going to say, Whoa, Diamond, you know, I got this plate, and now I can, I can bounce more. That's how, that's how some of y'all talk. If you need a certain product or you think you need a certain this or that, it's because you don't know how to do the move fully. You have an idea, but you haven't been doing it long enough to fully understand it. All right? Just accept that. All right, folks. Well, I hope I answered your questions. You know, um, if you know anyone who also has these questions, send them the video, let them know what's up. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm giving you a lot of value every week. I don't know any other channels out there that are doing this, this consistent. All right. So appreciate the support as always. Join the group shit class if you are in Tampa and I will catch y'all next time. Later.